first of all, the Devasi team and I want to welcome you to our channel. We are vacuum chamber manufacturers and in this channel, we're going to make a series of videos doing crazy experiments with vacuum chamber. This is going to be the first episode in our series of experimental videos. And if you've already subscribed to our channel, we want to thank you for your interest. In this experiment, we're going to try and blow up some products. We have flexible packs, we have chips, we have bread, we have cookies, we have peanuts and we have dog food. So first of all, let's place three of these products inside our chamber. Chips, dog food, and a pack of peanuts. We're gonna start off using the lowest um, level of vacuum. We're gonna start off using minus 100 M bar, and then slowly we're gonna increase the vacuum level until we see if anything pops. Are you ready? We're going up to minus 200 M bar. As you can see, the products have swollen or inflated. That means the pressure outside of the packages is different than the pressure inside, which makes this sort of behavior. Let's up the level of vacuum and see what happens. Up! Oh. The first package to pop was our pack of chips, which means that is uh, an easier seal to pop. Mm -hmm. Ready for eating. This package is still fully sealed. It's also completely sealed. So in this battle of the seals, our first one to pop was the chips. And now we're gonna test the remaining packs which are peanuts and dog food. What do you think is gonna pop first? Leave your comments below. Let's close the vacuum chamber once more and set our vacuum. You can see the packs slowly swelling up again. Currently, we set the vacuum level to minus 300 M bar and none of them have popped. So we're gonna up the level once more. Minus 400. Oh, you can see them really, really swollen right now. Our vacuum chamber maintains this vacuum level, and if the vacuum level starts going down, it'll automatically start leveling it up to 400 again. So let's up the vacuum level once more. Minus 500. Still no pop. I think the dog food has a leak. I think the dog food has popped because as you can see, the swelling is coming down. Let's check it one more time. If the dog food is not swelling up, that means there is a leak since there is the same sort of pressure inside the pack and outside the pack. As you can see, the dog food is no longer swelling up. That means our winner are the peanuts. I would have thought the dog food was going to be more resistant than the peanuts. But this is why it's so interesting. It's always a surprise to see the results. Our dog food pack has been sucked like, uh, like as if you would uh, a vacuum pack. Since we set it inside the vacuum chamber and all the air was sucked out after it popped, once it came back to normal pressure, there is no air inside the pack anymore. So this is why now it's not it, it doesn't have air inside anymore because it had a leak and within the vacuum chamber all the air was sucked out by the vacuum. Interesting. Our winner in this experiment are the peanuts. Yay! Did you guess who was going to win this battle of the vacuum chamber? This is our winner of the seals. It did not pop against our chips and our dog food. Let's set it inside the vacuum chamber and see and give it the whole vacuum level until it pops. Let's see if we can make it pop. Our vacuum chamber was already set to minus 700 M bar. Minus 400 M bar. Still no, no pop. 
Going up to minus 500 M bar. Minus 600 M bar. That's pretty high, still no pop. But you can see that the pack is really, really tight now. So I think once we get to minus 700 M bar, something is going to happen. Minus 800 M bar. That's a lot of vacuum. I'm a little scared. Oh, did you see that? <laughs> oh my gosh. That was explosive. Wow. That, that was amazing. I, I was kind of surprised. We didn't actually get to the 800. We were a little above 700. This is the result. No one is invincible in the battle of the seals and the vacuum chambers. So, what did you think about these experiments? Did everything go as you thought it would? Leave us a comment below. Also, please, if you have any suggestions or ideas about weird and crazy experiments you would like us to do, please leave it in the comment below. Since we are new on YouTube, we would love for you to help us get the word out and please subscribe to our channel for more crazy experimental videos about vacuum chambers and experiments. Please turn the notifications on and share. See you next week.